Hello? 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 Hold on, is it set to World of Warcraft? Oh god, it's not set for World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Oh god. Update. Okay. There we go. Yeah, now we're on World of Warcraft. Oh god. Uh, hey, all right. Greetings. What up, everybody? Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. All right. Um, what? Actually, you know what? I can do the uh, world boss. Where's the world boss at today? Kultura. God, it's that one. Okay. I am listening. Well, let's go down there. What up, Moses? <laughs> what is Sam? Has Sam been streaming all day again? That guy's a madman, I tell you. Jesus. I don't know how he does it. I actually don't know how he does it. It doesn't make sense to me. Help! These little Help. have taken our scrolls and turned themselves into beasts. Help! Dispelling scrolls. Woo. But you will need to get close enough to use them. Watch out! Watch out! Twelve hours and twenty-four minutes, dude. I think the longest I've streamed is like twelve hours with like a banjo kazooie. Uh, or Banjo Tooie, I think I went 12 hours for one of the episodes. Or, yeah. And by the end of it, I was like dead. I don't know how people do it. Maybe I'm too old. I think I'm just too old. Uh, what is it? What is it? Where's this at? Coulter, a storm song, okay. Get moving! I'm too old, man. Bugar, 45 months. Well, 45 months, it's almost 46. Whew. You're getting close, Bugar. You are getting close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I want to fly here or here? I guess here. All right. Uh, I'm actually on my way to Draenor Pathfinder. Finally, uh, I'm at the worst part now. All I need is the uh, rep with everything. I need uh, fourteen thousand Saber Stalker rep, uh, sixteen thousand Bulgin Headhunter rep, and twenty-one thousand Order of the Awakened rep. My favorite. Rep. Saber's easy, the rest suck. Fantastic. Oh, it's the Dark Moon Fair up? <laughs> nope, it ended last weekend. Perfect. I was like, dude, I can get bonus rep from that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm in no rush to do it. I can just slowly do it over time. It's all good. I was just, uh, just saying that's all I gotta do. Check AH, AH for Medallions of the Legion. What's that get you? Which rep is that? Oh yeah, Hollow's End is uh starting on Thursday. Nice. Okay.
I'm gonna get that headless horseman mount. It's kind of funny because I have the headless horseman mount on EU. I just don't have it on NA. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. I didn't expect that larva to take that long to kill. I'm so used to farming shit and things dying in one hit. I was like, this thing isn't dying in one hit. What's going on? Alright. Um. So, the faceless herald. Here we go. Sign up. Get me out of here before the PvP nerds get over here. There we go. Not nice. Beware. Kill it. Beware. Kill it. Run away! Run away! Oh! Upgraded item! What did I get? 355! Boo! That would have been great, actually, if I got, like, what? A 355, uh, if boots? 355 boots would have been great. Actually, that's really it. Maybe a ring. Weapon. Weapon would have been nice. But hey, what are you gonna do? Alright. What are you gonna do? Eh. Alright. Hearth me out of here. I'm not leaving the party. I'm gonna get gang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bullet Zach with the 45 months. Oh my god. Two 45 monthers in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I supply only the finest Travel. goods. Cat, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, let's see. So, we've got everything reset. I can go anywhere I want. The world is my oyster. Um, let's go to... Uh, there's Pandaria. Go to Pandaria. Hey, there's Orgrimmar. Could go to ZG. Oh wait, I can do Karazhan ZG. Let's do that. Let's go Karazhan ZG. It's a nice little quick route. Super Gamer God, 35 bits, fill up the cup. Thank you, Super Gamer God, filling up the cup. Play any more magic after the crash series the other night. I did. I played another draft off stream. Uh, and I believe I'm like three and two in it right now. Need something? Something doing okay. See you around. Uh, it's like you either play blue or black or like red white. That's like 80% of the decks in the guild's expansion. <laughs> Do 
Um, my ear itches. There we go. Hit that. Well, no map. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Alright, let's go ahead. Head over to ZG. Head over to ZG. I had a fishing episode tonight. I fished with uh, Mark Kern, the team lead of Vanilla WoW. He was on the Classic Cast a few weeks ago. And after that, I was like, yo, would you like to come on my show? And he was like, sure. So it was kind of cool talking to him about Vanilla WoW. Um, and some stuff that happened back then. We actually talked about how fishing got implemented into WoW. It was actually a really cool story. He was like, yeah, we, he uh, he was one of the pioneers for pushing uh, for fishing into World of Warcraft. And I was like, dude, I wouldn't be here without you doing this show. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah, cool guy, though. You're gonna get the raptor from ZG. I feel it in my bones. I hope so. What's your favorite mount you've collected? Probably the rat. The rat stallion is just so good. It's so unique. There's not. There's no other mounts I really feel compared to the rat. I really like my phosphorescent stone drake, phosphorescent stone drake, however you say it, because it's pretty rare. Uh, and I like my gray riding camel, because it's also pretty rare. So those are probably my top three favorites. If I had to pick. Super Gamer got 25 bits fill up the cup. That cup is full, boys. Uh... Eric, I love The Sims 3. Haha, ha, you rock. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I haven't played The Sims 3 in forever. <laughs> well, it uh, was not there. <laughs> well, let's go to uh, let's go to Draenor. Let's check Black Hand. Uh. Jagged Landscape, Reddish Orange Forest, Primal Forest, I think it's Reddish Orange, right? Your bones were wrong. <laughs> uh, wait, this is Talador? Oh my god. So, uh, Primal Forest is Gorgron. God damn it. Well, <laughs> Do, 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 do. God damn it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, time to check uh, Tan and Jungle instead. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was working on my uh, BFA audio. Hold on. If fans did BFA audio, where am I at? Little city. I don't care. Uh huh. Or something. Uh. Hey, I got pop. Got a little bit of audio and he's a little pop. Something. Uh huh. I live in a cold. A versus something. Uh huh. So, uh, what about. All right, good. Uh, hold on here. Let me just fly down to this part. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you're the one in charge, right? Tell your dogs to let me out of this Call train. Dogs. <laughs> All right, let me fly. How you doing? Mod. To Iron Front. Bye -bye. Huh. So, uh, what about island expeditions? Uh-huh. Hold on. Does this sound good? Uh-huh. So, uh, what about island expeditions? Uh-huh. So, what about island expeditions? I like the first one better. How about... How about... How... Oh, wow. That's me. Whenever I can't do the voice, whenever I'm like, How about... How about... I'm always like, <clears throat> Meat wow. Oh, now meat wow. All right, and then it like clicks my voice back into meatwad mode. Uh, all right, nobody here to kill. That's great. Uh, go up there. Was I in Noble's latest video about Lorthmar voicing Zul Jin because it sounded a lot like you? I did a troll voice for uh, Noble a long time ago. I mean, he might have just used that again or something, or maybe it released now. I don't know. So it, pr it probably was. Expeditions. How about? Cancel this. How about instead of fighting the mobs on the? There we go. That's what I wanted. How about instead of? How about? All right, and then I gotta pick one of those. Okay. All right. Uh, how about? How about? Or make them. No, 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 that's too late. How about? How about? Conditions. How about instead of. Okay. Uh, good. That should be good. That's my second part, and then I got a third part of audio to edit once I'm done uh, here. Okay. Hey, do you think any of these uh, Void Talon things are up? What ac what actually is the Void Talon spawn? Is it just a big-ass portal or something? Because obviously I've never seen it or I'd have the mount. Like, is it a big portal? Or is it just, like, a little one, like, as big as what I'm doing? Uh, it's like a character size. Okay, so it's kind of small. Uh, the size of mage portals. Okay. Well, I don't think it's here anyway. What's the add-on? It's a uh, mapster. Mapster? Mapster. And then you just add on shit to your mapster. Am I going the right way? I think this is the right way. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Do you do multiple takes of the same line or are you literally adjusting the tone when you edit? No, I just do multiple takes. And then I pick the one I like. So if it's Billy, for example, I'll be like, Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? And I'll do that, and then I just go through them, and I'm like, Eh, I like that one. That's all I do. I think handy notes. Oh, wait, it might be handy notes. You're right. I think it might be handy notes. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's handy notes now that you mention it. I think maps is just my map thing I was thinking of. Yeah, I think it's handy notes. Train or treasures. Yeah, I think it's it's under handy notes. Uh mythic. Twenty five wait. Can you only do mythic ten? 
Oh, no. It doesn't let you change it. It's weird. <laughs> Mythics only 20 man and wad. Oh, I see. That explains it. That makes more sense. All right. Well, this instant or dungeon's easy to do <laughs> now. Uh, now that I've got the quest done. And now we're good. Not done the quest for Hellfire Citadel now. What realms my warrior on? Uh, Worm Rest Accord. Which, by the way, this server is amazing for mount farming. <laughs> There's like nobody ever doing anything. Like when I would farm the camel, like. Maybe during prime time hours, people farm it, but like from 11 p.m. to like 6 a.m., nobody did anything. Like, I found this phosphorescent stone drake, nobody was farming it. I was like, oh, hey, I guess it's mine. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone's just busy role-playing, to be honest. <laughs> You're not wrong. Well, no mount. But hey, I didn't have to do the whole dungeon to find out if I got it or not, so that's good. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna pop Lingtron here. All right. Ooh, 100 gold for that. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's go to uh that place. Actually, no, I can go to uh North Run. Wee! All right. Shalling Fjord. I love being an engineer. I love being an engineer. I like how the basketballs are still spinning in the cup, as well as the weird rotating heads at the top. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, another thing I learned um, in 
uh, my interview with the Vanilla WoW guy, which is kind of crazy. You know, uh, like holidays and WoW and Dark Moon Fair and stuff like that. Would you believe that one of the inspirations they actually had for it was Animal Crossing? <laughs> That's what he told me. He's like, yeah, Animal Crossing was uh, one of our inspirations. Like, I get it. It's just, I never thought they'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Animal Crossing, we should put this in WoW. I was like, I guess it makes sense. Hey, no mount. Alright. Okay. Well. <laughs> Not doing so good so far. Eh. <laughs> Let's see, where should I go next? Let's go back to Orgrimmar. Then go to Dalaran. Bellaran. Okay. And right up. And let's go to uh let's see there's I have Eternity. Eh. I don't feel like doing that right now. Don't feel like doing Dragon Soul. Let's just go to Pandaria. See if some of the world bosses are up. Alright, let's check uh, up here. Well... I think I usually like to check the Valley of the Four Winds first, but actually, I don't know where the thing's gonna play. Let's go check this first. I think he's up here. Oh yeah, I was just bringing up the Lucky Do Rap the other day, or uh, one or two days ago. Um, I tweeted about how it's six years old now. Six years old. That's crazy. I can't believe it's six years. I thought it was like four. <laughs> or five. But six? I guess it makes sense. That's when Pandaria came out. Oh, hey, there he is. Nice. Let's get in. Hey, we got gold and we got boots. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, that's one. <laughs> Golden boots. Uh. Where's the flight thing? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Many greetings. Many greetings. And then after this, I can just warp to somewhere in Pandaria and then it should be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know I'm humming Kirby. Yeah. Right, let's hope this guy drops the dinosaur map. That'd be pretty neat. Actually, out of all the mounts I want, this is probably the one I want the least, to be honest. Which is probably means I'll get this one. <laughs> uh. How do you get those toys you've been using to warp around? They're all uh, engineering toys. So you gotta be an engineer and then you gotta craft them. So I've got uh, Draenor, Northren, Pandaria, and then Everlook if I want to go to Winter Spring. Uh, actually, I haven't played my EVE Online soundtrack in a while. Let's do that. That's a nice chill soundtrack. I forgot I haven't played in a while. I used to play with League of Legends all the time. Hey, there he is. Undasta. Oh. Gold and a bone. Alright. Yeah, this server's dead, like I said. Nobody farms anything. <laughs> Nobody farms anything here. The world is my oyster. Galleon. Oh man, I got a great belt and gold. <laughs> well, I got something at least. Volker with the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, Volker. Swag. Favorite it's which prime. Hey, I wonder if the uh, rare dudes are up. Let's check. They probably are, since everything else is up. Mm -hmm. 
And then I can just, uh, ride up the coast, probably. And then move all the way up to, like, uh, whatever the shit, Isle of Thunder. Yeah, I used to farm these, like, all the time back when BFA came out, because everyone was so busy doing BFA that, like, nobody was doing these, so I just farmed these nonstop. And then I got exalted with everything, got all the mounts, and, uh... Wow. He's actually not up. Somebody killed him. Alright. And then, uh, I got the Jade mount off one of them, but I haven't gotten the other two. So... And then I got a second jade mount. Like, come on, man. Am I gonna play classic WoW? Yeah. I don't know anybody that's not gonna play. Uh, they're not gonna play classic WoW. Actually, there's probably a few people I know that probably won't play classic WoW. But I feel like even they will like cave in and try it out uh, for nostalgic reasons, if that. Yeah, I don't know if Jesse will play Classic WoW. Well, uh, might as well check if this one's here. And if not, then I'll just go straight up to the town long steps. there, but is the guy there? Nope. They are all dead. Alright, well, up the town long we go. Okay. my up down for price I think I pay what do I pay I pay like a hundred I pay like a hundred for 250 down and like uh, I think like 50 up or something or like a hundred up I don't know what it is but I mean it's pretty stable I guess <laughs> I also have like unlimited data, which they charge you for again. They're like, hey, you're gonna use a lot of high speed stuff for streaming and stuff, and if you go over, we'll, char we'll charge you unless you wanna get unlimited data. And it's like, I guess I'll get it. <laughs> so dumb. Let's go to the Isle of Thunder. It is Comcast. Yes. <laughs> what kind of ISP do you have that charges you for data use in your own home? Comcast, of course. Number one. It's because they know they can charge you for it. Yeah, 
Yeah, they make you pay more to avoid paying more. It's kind of funny. This guy will probably be up. And then in the thing, they're like, we have it here because most people aren't going to hit this cap. And it's like, I don't know. I think most people can easily hit that cap. If they got, like, multiple TVs, multiple people using the internet, especially if you're, like, streaming Netflix or games or Twitch or, like, whatever, you can easily hit that. Easily. Or just multiple people in your home in general. Wow, Undasta actually isn't up. What do you know? Well. Might as well head in here. of the new Gold video? I mean, I saw a bunch of people arguing about it. I honestly just don't think... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it matters that much. This is, like, to me, this has been a constant throughout WoW's history. Game comes out. People love game. People start complaining about game. People quit game. Patch hits. People come back. The patch gets old, people quit, people complain. Another patch hits, people come back, people raid, people get mad, people quit, people wait for new expansion, new expansion comes out, people go, wow, that last expansion wasn't that bad actually, I enjoyed it. Rinse, repeat. Like, it's just, it's happened for 15 years, man. I've seen it happen. <laughs> Like, I, love, I like Asmongold. I think he's funny. I fish with Asmongold. He's a cool guy. But I think a lot of people tend to uh, complain about every little thing. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think uh, a lot of people can be picky for the sake of being picky. Like, you could go back to Vanilla WoW. You go back to Vanilla WoW and be picky about things. I talked to Mark Kern today, the dude who led the Vanilla WoW team. And he was like, yeah, like, Vanilla WoW had a lot wrong with it. <laughs> like, a lot of people look up to it like it was a holy grail or something. It had a lot wrong with it. That's not a bad thing. But the game, the game doesn't have to be perfect to be fun. And I think that's my, my take on it. Like, the game doesn't have to be perfect to be fun. I agree that Azerite armor is bad, though. Like, that's no doubter. I think Azerite armor is dumb. I think it's bad. I think the fact that every end boss drops it as well, it's bad design. But, like, I don't know. People, people, especially nowadays, tend to complain for the sake of complaining because it gets views more than anything. Now, that's not to say that somebody would do it just to get views, like they might actually care about the game, but it is a common thing to get views. I would know, as somebody who's complained about stuff on a YouTube video, because I knew it would get views. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the market. Like, I made videos before where I was like, why I quit WoW? Why I don't play WoW right now? And I just talk about it. And then people... Have those videos get like 200,000 views. 
you know? This is the Eve soundtrack. Oh boy, mount coming up, folks. Mount coming up. I mean, yeah. I mean, I started my YouTube career making my series Truth Rage, where I just complained about everything. <laughs> if anyone remembers Truth Rage, it's just me drawing Microsoft Paint stuff complaining about things. And honestly, it's fun to complain. I like complaining. I like making fun of things. But I think... I think it's, there's some people who are really good at complaining in a well-spoken way. Or in more of a ranting way. I think that's more of Asmongold's thing. I think he can come across as, like, pretty well-spoken. Uh, or somebody like Preach. I think Preach is really good at getting his point across. Uh, I didn't get a mount, but I got the Thrak, the Sword Breaker. Ooh, that's a cool sword. What's Miracoa? Yeah, well, um, even Nixium, I think Nixium can get his point across pretty well. But to me, I think the best way for me to complain is through, like, a Machinima-style video, which is why I always made... That's why I made Machinimas in the first place. Because it's just, like, a more fun way to complain. Like, when I made my video about the Onyxia, the interactive Onyxia storyline or whatever. That was me complaining about the entire Onyxia attunement chain. But I did it in like a fun way. <laughs> Force why I quit Overwatch gaming. There you go, another example. Force knows he's gonna get views if he makes that video, and he did. I guarantee you, when all the big people like Ninja and like, I don't know, any other like big people quit a game like Fortnite, I guarantee you they'll make a video being like, why I quit Fortnite. I guarantee you, like 99.9%, the 0.1% being if they don't do YouTube. Otherwise, they'll talk about it on a stream. Doubt Ninja cares about that 2k. I don't know, man. I've been to Twitch parties. I've been to YouTube parties. I've been around big YouTubers. I've been around big Twitch people. When you get that big, they hit up, like, I'm not naming, like, specific names. I've never been around Ninja or anything, you know what I mean? Like, when you get around really big people like that, they get to this level of, like, money competition. Where they'll be like, what did you make last month, Reginald? I don't even know why I said Reginald. <gasps> a living Stanley. It just sounds like a douchey British name. Uh, like, Reginald, what'd you hit last month? And he's like, ah, oh, Chaz, I hit 1.8 million dollars. And he's like, ha, huh, I hit 1.9. And then they'll be like, I need to hit 1.9. Like, they get into, like, a weird money. It's like the, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, whatever the shit that's called. You know what I mean? You get to that point of, like, success where you already have everything you need and want, and so you get into, like, a competition with other rich people to make more money and get more views. So if they're just like, oh, I got 30 million subscribers, they're like, I got 35, you suck. And then they're like, well, I gotta pass them up. And that's why they're never happy. Yeah, it becomes a very toxic type of success. 
And that's why you see a lot of these people from like old school YouTube or Twitch or whatever, they just like go into a breakdown. <laughs> they go into a breakdown. They buy like a random house on like the Hawaiian Islands and they disappear for like a year. <laughs> that's why I don't care. I don't care about making millions of dollars. I just want to make enough to keep playing video games and farm mounts. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that shit. Ooh. I haven't even had a battle shot. Like, sure, do I want my Tesla? Yeah, I want my Tesla. Do I need a Tesla? No. So I don't care if I don't get one, but I'd want one. But if I don't get it, whatever. <laughs> I'd rather buy WoW tokens. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I've hit that point where like, if I were to make millions, I would rather just invest it or put it in the bank and make interest off it. Like, think about it. You get a few million dollars, you put it in the bank. Mamma mia. There you go. <laughs> You'll make, like, a normal person's salary just from having money in the bank. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, ba -doom. like 300 shade of pain assault re oh wait i thought that was the thing i had on oh my god it's like my least favorite part of this dungeon i hate this part aside from this the part right after it Mega Millions at $868 million? Dude, I wouldn't want to win the Mega Millions. If I won the Mega Millions, you know there would be, like, crazy people, like, looking you up in, like, the Who Won the Mega Millions newspaper and, like, trying to rob you or something. Didn't that happen to people? Like, some people won the lottery and then crazy people, like, show up at their door. I have too much anxiety for that. <laughs> Some states allow you to remain anonymous. I guess. I don't know. I still... <laughs> I'd still have anxiety over it. I'm the type of person that doesn't buy lottery tickets though, so I'm not going to win. <laughs> I don't even like gambling. Whenever we went to like the casino for like a birthday or something. I take like $40. And I play like slot machines for like 10 minutes. I lose all the money. And then I'm like, well, that was dumb. <laughs> And then that's it for the year. One time I actually won $100. So that was, that was the first time I ever went to a casino. I won $100. And then ever since then, I've just lost. We always go because my grandma loves going to the casino. I'm 
so you don't just want to sit there. You're like, I guess I'll throw money away. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I could have bought like two WoW tokens with that. <laughs> Your grandma's got to get that money, so she has money to give you Christmas. Uh, I mean, I'm at the point where like I don't even need money at Christmas. Like I'd rather just not get any gifts from anybody. Everyone's like, "What do you want?" And I'm like, "I don't need anything." I'd rather just show up and not open presents. <laughs> I don't know. I don't need presents. What's up, dude? We haven't been introduced. I'm one of Nick Seems friends and mods. Hey, nice. Welcome to the stream. Speaking of which, I got a message Nixium because I think we were supposed to do a Halloween video this week or this weekend. Uh, where is he? What day are you free to do the Halloween thing? There we go. I don't mind gift cards, actually. Usually what happens is, like, I get people gift cards, and then they give me gift cards. And they're like, hey, I know you like going to this place. And I'm like, hey, I do, thanks. And I'm like, I know you like going to this place. And they're like, hey, I do. So you're essentially just trading off money. And not really losing anything, but showing the person like, hey, I know you like this thing. So I think it's all right. Thomasig with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Thomasig. Swag. And you roll a 20, you get a bonus high five. Swag. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. And getting that 20. Oh my god, I'm, I need to sell shit. Okay. Sell that. Okay. Nice. Nice. Many farewells. Many farewells. Uh, you know how much money supermarkets and large corps make off expired gift cards? The thing is, like, who doesn't use their gift cards? I always use my gift cards in like the first month, maybe two months. I don't get why, why don't people use it? Do they just forget? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had a movie gift card in my wallet like two years before I used it. I guess it has to be like a gift card to a thing you actually want. Because otherwise, I guess you wouldn't use it. Yeah, if you're like, hey, here's a gift card to like Subway and you don't go to Subway, it's going to be like, ah, thanks, I guess. And then it'll just sit there. 
I guess that just depends on the person actually knowing you too well enough to get you something you want. Oh my god! I hate this part of the dungeon. <laughs> this is the worst. Actually the worst. Yeah, I guess it just depends on people actually knowing you. But you would think like, hey, Timmy likes Best Buy, or he likes electronics. Get him a thing to Best Buy. Not just like, hey, what do we get Timmy this year? Like, I don't know, give him like Starbucks. Does he drink coffee? Pff, I don't know, just give it to him. <laughs> like at that point, just give him like $20. You know? Just give him the money at that point. Let him buy something with twenty dollars. Okay. Go. All right. Coming through. All right. God, get away from me. Whee! Come on, mount. 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 No, Mount. Okay. Thanks. Phantom Ash gifted a sub to Whoppy Bot 2 for two months in a row. Thank you, Phantom Ash, for gifting Whoppy Bot a sub. One, two. Swag. Congratulations, Whoppy Bot. You get to be a bot that subscribed. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Whee! Let's go back to Wrath of the Lich King. Let's go to Worm Rest. I swear, I haven't seen an actual mount drop on stream in, like, so long. Every time I'm not on stream is when I get the mounts. Let's go to Winter Grasp. God, if you guys uh, didn't know, so I'm doing a a let's play that we're finishing up with me, Dodger, Cry, and Jesse on Jesse's channel, and we're playing Strange Brigade, and uh, yesterday we had a big conversation about um. It was like, oh, thank God I can do winter grass. Is a bad, what is it? Jesse said something like, there's nothing more romantic than just driving up the west coast in a convertible. Just like, uh, it, it was just like, that was it. He's like, nothing like that. And I was like, I can think of some things better than that. And he was like, well, <laughs> he's like, it's about, you know, the adventure of it all. Like, and I was like, no, like, tell me, like, what, what is it? And he, he like, couldn't think of anything. 
Ne is like, oh no, you get to talk with your like loved one as you drive up the coast. And I was like, yeah, you can talk to him anywhere though. And he's like, well, you got the the breeze in your hair or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but then that lasts like you know that's fun for like 20 minutes, and then you still got like five hours driving up the coast to go. And so we got into this big discussion with me, Dodger, and Jesse about uh, <laughs> what actually is worth doing in life. I don't know. It was, uh, <laughs> I was triggering them a bit. It was just funny because I'd, they'd be like, it's just great. And I was like, well, give me some reasons. And they'd give me, like, really generic reasons. And I was like, those aren't good reasons. Beep. Well, well. You'll see it when it comes out, whenever it comes up on Jesse's channel. <laughs> Uh, alright, I think we're good here. Let's hope a, uh, War Mammoth drops. Apparently I'm at 117 out of 100. I mean, Jesse won't edit it out. It's like, as we're fighting the main boss of the game. You would have to cut out the entire boss fight. Because we talked about it for, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> Silpha with the thousand bit dunk. Dunk and back to lurking. Thank you, Silpha, for the thousand bit dunk arena. Back to lurking you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for the thousand bit aroos. See, it hit the point where I was like breaking down. I guess I was being a pessimist. <laughs> But I, I consider it a realist, because Dodger was like, I'd love to go to Machu Picchu, and Jesse's like, oh, I've been to Machu Picchu, it's amazing. And I was like, what's amazing about it? And they are like, it's just, it's amazing. And I was like, yeah, but what's amazing about it? And they are like, you just don't get culture and history. And I was like, no, I get it. I just don't think it's that amazing. And I was like, I can, I can watch it on my, like, I can watch a documentary on it and learn everything I need to know. I don't want to go there. <laughs> uh, like, if I go there, first off, you gotta, like, get there. You gotta fly in, like, some shitty plane and, like, rain and storms. You might die along the way. And you're like, ah, shit. Then you gotta land. Then you gotta hope that, like, nothing goes wrong. I don't trust, like, any hospitals or whatever there. I mean, you're in, like, the middle of nowhere, essentially. You're just on a mountain. Then, what if you get sick? What if it floods? They, they're like, oh, yeah, you can't get out of here. Like, you gotta have good takeoff. You might get stranded at Machu Picchu. You're not gonna like it anymore after that. Like, to me, it's just not worth it. Like, that's... I'm not saying it's not cool. I think it's cool, but I just don't want to go there. I'm like, that's pretty neat. I'll watch a documentary about it and be like, all right, neat. <laughs> I don't feel... I feel like a lot of people in especially modern culture or modern society more so feel the need to, like, travel everywhere and experience everything. I don't think we need to do that. I think it's overstimulation. Well, well. Well. Ah, the thing is, right? Th then we got into Japan, because then they are like, well, what about Japan? And I was like, Japan's different, because they got crazy shit you cannot see anywhere. And I didn't get them out. Okay. Like for example, that one uh that one dude 
from that series who like cooks uh, that crazy egg dish over rice. I would go to Japan just to like eat that crazy egg dish. I would go to that over Machu Picchu. Or they got the crazy cafe. They got like made bubble bath cat cafes. They have crazy stuff. <laughs> so that's why it's different. But aside from that, uh, I relate very much to like Carl Pilkington. If you've ever seen Idiot Abroad, I have very much the same mindset as Carl when he goes all over to those places. And if you haven't seen that show, definitely watch it. It's great. <laughs> Fred of with the 10 bits. Thank you, Fred of 1955 for the 10 bits. I know that being there and looking through a screen are different, though, but it depends on the amount of things that you're going to experience by being there. Like, to me, just going somewhere and seeing something isn't worth traveling to. Like, I know if I go to Japan, you're gonna get, like, an experience. You're gonna get crazy food, crazy people, crazy things you can't get anywhere else. If you go to, like, for example, went to England, it was fun. But it's not, like, any different from anywhere else, really. It's just people living kind of differently. But people make it to be like, oh my god, you traveled to England? Like when I tell people, like, do you travel to England? It's like, yeah. You know, instead of being like, hey, how was the Bears-Packers game last night? They're like, hey, how was the you Manchester United game last night? And then they, instead of saying, hey, what's up? They're like, hello, <laughs> jolly good. It's just people being kind of different. There's nothing crazy there. Japan, it's crazy. <laughs> uh... Wow, 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 wow. My life goal is New Zealand Lord of the Rings tour. See, that's kind of cool because it's like you can actually see like see places from the movie and feel like you're in Lord of the Rings. So I can appreciate that. So I feel like the trip has extra depth to it. I think what bothers me most about traveling is people just go to like a thing, look at it, and they're like, "Wow, <laughs> cool." I don't know. I'm also I don't like traveling. So, I'm not a good person to, like, talk to about it. Because I already have a negative ass or negative view on it. Uh. to the Nexus. I think I also, because I don't like traveling, have this, like, a bar, uh, of, like, or, like, a spectrum, almost, of is it worth it or not? Like, I'm like, man, that could be cool to go to, and they're like, it's a 20-hour flight, and I'm like, well, it's not cool enough for me to go to. <laughs> but then some people, like Jesse, would be like, let's do it, all right. That's not me. Iris. 
dissipated. Uh, Nonetheless, your efforts are in vain. It is you reckless, careless mortals who are to blame for this war. I do what I must. Oh, and if it oh, means your oh, extinction, oh, 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 then so oh. be it. Ayo. Ooh. I just get one more of those. Let's clear out the whole place. I need to get closer. I don't have a target. I'm out of oh, There we go. <laughs> I did. Dude, dude. You should still come to PAX Australia one day. That's the thing. I don't want to fly there. <laughs> like, to me, it's just too much effort. I don't even want to go to, like, PAX east <laughs> now your I'm like man that's like two hours I gotta travel I gotta not stream or make videos might get stranded there like last time where it almost got almost got stuck in Boston from a snowstorm Hey, no mount. <laughs> All right. I did what I had to. Oh my God. Real reasons you have to leave the comfort of home. A little bit. It's more of so. It's less the comfort of home and more so the inconvenience of traveling. Like if traveling was really easy, I wouldn't mind it as much. I just really hate the inconvenience of traveling. I hate the anxiety buildup of like having to travel somewhere, knowing you have to go somewhere and being like, uh, it's going to be boring, annoying. It's going to, uh, my sleep's going to get messed up. Things are going to, uh, and then, uh, you have to like get there and be like, all right, what am I going to do? Did I pack everything? And then, I don't know. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I don't like the traveling process. I don't mind it as much once I'm actually there. Like, once I'm there, I'm like, alright, I'm here, this is cool. But I hate the whole process of getting there, and then I hate the whole process of getting back. Uh... Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Or... Grimar again. Yeah, we're in a time now where the world is so, like, culturally diverse, especially, like, over here, where, like, you can get so many different types of food and things just by being in, like, a big city. Or you'd be like, hey, this guy cooks this food in Chicago. And he's from Japan, and you're like, oh, that's pretty neat. You know, he makes, like, the same food he made in Japan. Or wherever you come from. And then you go to the actual place where they make it, and it's like, I mean, it's better, but, like, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Shit, why am I going to ZG? I don't need to go ZG. Uh, I'll do the Firelands. Like, LA has some crazy places, too, we went to eat at. Hydral. Yeah, that's where I want. Hydral. Like, the main things I liked in England, uh, fish and chips were really good. I'll give them that. But I feel like if I were to go to a place on the East Coast or West Coast or something, they could probably make fish and chips pretty much the same. And then, uh, the, uh, what was it? There's something else. 
Uh, what else did I... Oh, yeah, the curry. We had Indian curry that one time, and it was really good. Like, really, really good. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, like, the English Nando's was better than the American Nando's. Bow, 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 bow. Oh my god, I already got a cell show to get us. Okay. Greetings, traveler. Okay. In we go. Yeah, Nando's is all over England. That's where I first had Nando's. When I was at CoxCon, half my meals consisted of Nando's. God, it's not. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to UK next week. Should I get it at Nando's? Just get like a chicken sandwich with or chicken burger. They call it a chicken burger. Very weird. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I I don't get I don't get why they call it a chicken burger. It's a chicken sandwich. Um, with chips. And that's it. Chicken burger chips and then pick your side. Pick another side. You get two sides. Uh, like we also ate at some places in London, but they were never as good. I did eat at one like co coffee place. So it was pretty good. It's like a coffee shop. I got a croissant thing and a coffee there. That's pretty good. I felt like a really douchey, like, hipster person sitting on the street on, like, a Thursday, like, at a European table, just having my little coffee and almond croissant or something. Like, to me, a burger, when I think burger, I think of, like, ground meat formed into a burger shape and cooked. When I think of, like, a chicken sandwich, I think of an actual, like, chicken breast put on bread. If it was ground chicken, then I'd call it a turkey or a chicken burger. My sweet potatoes are done. <laughs> was I in sweatpants? Of course I was in sweatpants. I wear sweatpants everywhere. I've got them on right now. In fact, I got my Krensloft ones on. Look at that. Krensloft.com. Can I just jump off here? Oh my god, you can! I didn't even know that! Do, 
Alright, alright. Sweet potatoes. Mm. <laughs> the sweatpants look sweet. Yeah, they're pretty good. Obviously, I wouldn't sell them if they weren't pretty good. I wear them. <laughs> I wouldn't sell them if I didn't wear them. As a sweat pant, sweat pant connoisseur. Kill this guy real quick. Next time, a good trick is using the feathers for Molus Razor. You can fly the spider area without having to pull all the mobs on the way. Damn, that is pretty good. I didn't know that. That's pretty good. That guy sounds like the goof, goofy movie dead. Potential mount coming in. if you kill him. You know, he probably just stops at one health. out. Well. To rag we go.
Oh my god, I'm almost dead because I went in the lava. <laughs> to the ground. Ah. Uh. And hopefully this summons it. Burn an eight. Really? That hasn't spawned him yet? Okay. Okay. Very fun. Oh yeah, I uh, there we go. Another story I got from Mark Kern, the vanilla WoW guy I fish with, was about Jeff Kaplan. And apparently they hired Jeff Kaplan for vanilla WoW. Cause he was like in a big EverQuest guild, he was like the top guild leader there, he was like very vocal, he'd yell at everybody, he'd make crazy forum posts where he'd like be really mean. And they were like, oh shit, this guy's going to be like super mean and crazy. So they brought him in for the job. And uh, they were like, he was really shy and really quiet. And he would apologize for everything. And they said he apologized so much that they made a sorry jar. And whenever he would say sorry, they'd put, he'd have to put like a dollar into the jar. <laughs> I was like, shit, dude. Probably did say sorry when he put money in the jar. <laughs> I also learned that Jeff Kaplan made Hemet Nessingwary. When I interviewed him for BlizzCon a few years ago for Overwatch, I was like, I know this is supposed to be an Overwatch interview, but I want to ask you a WoW question. What was your favorite thing you made in Vanilla WoW? And he said, Hemet Nessingwary. So Jeff Kaplan made him at Nessingware. Fun facts. Major Domo transforms into a cat. probably going to be my last mount attempt for a thing of the night, so I really hope it drops a mount.
What up, old diabetico? Whee! Jeff is responsible for the Green Hills of Stranglethorn. It's true. Do I gotta go over here? Oh, yeah. Biscus with the 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Biscus, that's good luck. Nope. Snow map. Alright. There's no map. Okay. get a mount but you know what's better than a mount I'm not too sure actually <laughs> uh. oh wait you know what we can do real quick do a deep poem real quick right Maybe that'll have a mount. It's gotta have a mount. Deep home's gotta have a mount. Gotta go deep home real quick. It's gonna have it. I know it is. on heroic
Here we go. This is gonna drop, dude. This is why we haven't gotten any mounts all night. Because it's gonna drop right here, right now. No doubter. No doubter. 61 attempts. How about 62? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Uh, hey, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new here, click the follow button. Follow along. Be alerted when I go live. Also, check out all the stream, the streams. Check out all the links below the stream. There's Twitter. There's Patreon. A uh, bunch of new stuff on Patreon. There's two new Hobbit audiobooks and a, uh, wow. And a, uh, wow. I got a one bit. One bit for me. Wow. 25 bits. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, wait. That's a British pound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> check out Patreon. Also, credsloth.com. You get hoodies, sweatpants, shirts. It's winter. It's a good time to buy the merchandise. Check it out. Uh, subscribe, tips, Amazon, Chrono GG, YouTube, Jinx, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all down below. Uh, I'm putting up another Fishing with Crendor tomorrow on the YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed there. You got alerts on and all the stuff. And yeah, or just follow me on Twitter. To see me. Yeah. Thanks to everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, dropped bits, donated, gifted subs. Appreciate all the support. And I'll probably be streaming a lot tomorrow because I got my front page. Uh, tomorrow night and I have to do uh, Assassin's Creed brand deal bounty thing for Twitch during the day. So a lot of streaming gonna be happening tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. See you.